Several referendums that passed last night will help rural schools continue to operate. And one area school district is elaborating on what they plan to do with that funding. Katrina Lim breaks it all down for us in our top story. Voters have approved referendum questions that will help several rural school districts with operational and maintenance costs. 56% of residents voted in favor of New Auburn School District's referendum. In it, the district asked for $400,000 a year for the next three school years to address a budget deficit. We're very appreciative that our community has supported this effort. New Auburn District Administrator Scott Johnson said there's a projected deficit because of a recent decline in enrollment. Recently, we conducted a survey of parents who had pulled students out of school to find out reasons why. And we learned some feelings that the parents had uh, regarding our curriculum and instruction and things like that that they felt, thought could be improved even creating a safer school climate. In response, the district last summer hired an academic success coordinator, an additional principal, and purchased new materials to upgrade their curriculum and instruction, so the money will be used to maintain the staffing and services they already have. We are at a place where we're starting to see the gains, the educational gains from those changes, and we really were asking people to let us have the authority to keep our budget where it's at because we're getting where we want to be. Over in the Ladysmith School District, voters approved both of the referendums there. The first one asked residents for $600,000 a year for the next five years. The second asked voters if the district should borrow and spend $21 million on a school addition and a new gymnasium, as well as other projects, including safety improvements and building upgrades. We are super excited over here in Ladysmith to have both questions passed. Um, it means a lot for the students, means a lot for the staff, and it really means a lot for our entire community. At the Lake Holcomb School District, voters approved by 66% a referendum for $875,000 per year for the next three years. Officials say it is the fourth consecutive three-year referendum they've had. Thanks, Katrina. Now, Gilman School District referendum also passed with 62% of the vote, approving funds for the next four school years. $700,000 for the next one, $800,000 for the following year, and then $900,000 for the two years after that. Well, we're